That's awesome. Got it? Yeah, I got it, I got it. It's done. Oh, that's sick. Oh, yeah. That is actually fucking Ooh. awesome. Hey, how's it going? So, today we're going to be doing a bit of a different video idea. You suggested some photo ideas, and today me and Mike are going to write them on a spinny wheel thing, and we're going to go complete them. So, let's go. Alright, we got all the 14 ideas. Astrophotography, food photography, shoot strangers, uh, rolling car shots, uh, shoot patterns, product photos, 16 mil portraits, ice cream photography, steel wool photography, slap Hayden, upside like hold your camera upside down photography, dogs, Eureka Skydeck, the web bridge. So we got 14 and obviously doing all 14 would be way too much. So we're just gonna pick five. Or well, we're not gonna pick, we're gonna spin five times and see what, and see what we get. Alright, let's do the go. first one. Let's go. Alright. I hope it's astrophotography to be honest. That I want to send be it. <laughs> Still wool. All, all right. right, let's go. Don't do this at home. I don't even know why I said that. Why would anyone have this at their home? <laughs> I am part of me. <laughs> Dude, this is like exactly where Pennywise lives. We're just gonna see a clown face in there, literally. Oh, yeah, you say that. Alright, if I don't make it out of line, Mike, you can have my shit car. Fuck awesome. this. Dude, why are we doing this? Dude, fuck this. I'm actually, I'm actually scared. Yeah. I'm genuinely, I actually don't want to walk down there. Dude, I actually don't want to go down there. Oh, fuck can this. we just do it right here? No, <laughs> we have to go down. Ah, oh, no, we can't. Oh, we, we gotta do it. We got all the things. Let's just do it. Who gives a fuck? Pennywise, you can fucking get me. Now all we need to do, we just need to light that on fire and, and then spin it around. Once you good. spin that around, that is when all the sparks just go, so. Right, let's go do a let's test. Let's do it. Alright, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Alright. Oh, that's sick! Alright, yeah, keep going, that's sick, keep going. Far out! Fuck you, Pennywise! That's awesome! Oh, that's sick! Far out! That is actually fucking Dude. awesome! We're currently doing the steel wall and it's just going like vertically, like that way, right? Or horizontally, whatever. It's going like flush with the camera. Yeah. Wait. What if we oh. have you spinning it towards the camera and we get the sparks like flying towards the camera? Alright, just care if your mic doesn't get set on fire. Ready? Ready? Can I, can I spin it this spin time? It. I want to spin it. Alright, ready? <laughs> Let's see. Please don't be something Please crazy. slap Hayden. Yeah, slap, Hayden. Hayden. slap Hayden. Slap Hayden. Oh, 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 oh. What? Upside Look down. how close it was to slap Hayden. <laughs> Fire out. Now we're going to do upside down photography. <laughs> Pennywise, mate. Oh my god, it's actually Pennywise. Mate, you're a bit late. You should have came at the other spot. You're not going to get us at this one. Sorry, mate. Boy, what are you doing? That has to be upside down. It is upside down. What do you mean? We live in Australia. Well, that shot was easy considering that we live in Australia and that we're upside down. So, on to the next photo. Right, let's go. What's it gonna be? Please be Slap Hayden. Slap Hayden, Slap Hayden. What is it? Oh. Dogs. Dogs. Alright. Alright, 
All right, for the next shot, we gotta find some dogs, but we're parked in a no standing zone, so we're just gonna do it around this area. I'm thinking of shooting it on the 35 mil and then just going up to someone and just asking me if I can take photos of their dogs and getting like that nice low shot. All right, I think there's some dogs over here. We've got some nice small little dogs here, so let's just take some photos of them. Hey, doggy, doggy. These dogs are scared of me, what the hell? Come on, doggy. <laughs> All right, we got a photo of a dog. Let's go. <laughs> All right, go on then. Next one, ready? What's it gonna be? Slap Hayden. Please, slap Hayden. Slap Hayden. Slap Hayden. Slap Hayden. Slap Hayden. Is it? Oh, oh. Ice, Ice cream. cream. No. Right. Slap Hayden. <laughs> Let's go. This is torture right now. <laughs> I remember I'm allowed to eat it. Not even a little lick. Was that a lick? No, what? I didn't lick it. <laughs> What's it gonna be? Far out, this thing spins forever. Yeah, far out. <laughs> come on, come on. It is. Yeah, oh, shoot strangers, like shoot right strangers. on it. All right. All right, let's go find some strangers to shoot. Let's do it. Do you want to model for a photo really quickly? <laughs> no, okay, that's right. Look, I tried. That's the thing with this, it's a numbers game. Let's get some rejections. Hey man, do you want to model for a photo real quick? Not really. Excuse me, sir. Would I be able to take a photo of you just sitting uh, there? For what purpose? Just because uh, I, I like photography. Thanks, man. Have a great day. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Astro. What? Astro. I reckon. Dude. This thing spins for far oh, too long. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got it oh. right again. <laughs> we need to be far away from the city. Dude, do you want to go to my farm? Like None. right now? Wait, what? Are you doing anything tomorrow? No. Do you want to go to the farm and then we'll wake right, up for sunrise? Let's send it. <laughs> Alright, so we just got to my farm, which is about two hours away from Melbourne, which means that there's going to be no city lights. Yeah, because our aperture was too low, it was at f2.8, that means that it wasn't, the stars weren't quite in focus. So we'll try f4, but I think that will work. So far, so good. There's just a little bit of clouds in the sky, but we can't really avoid that because I'm not yeah, bloody clouds. God. I can't <laughs> change that. <laughs> All right, so that's all the photos taken. Obviously, there was way too many options to fit in the one video, so we stopped at about number five or six, but either way, we still got some good shots. So the first thing we got was the steel wool photography. So with the first location, we had the drain area, which was, I was actually scared of this because me and Mike, when we were back in LA, we watched this scary movie called Hereditary, and I even just hate thinking about it. It's like the cookedest movie. If you've ever seen it, you'll know what I mean. And we also saw It, so those two movies combined, that's all me and Mike were thinking about. So this first photo here is of the steel wool. We've got the long exposure and it just looks awesome. Like I haven't done steel wool photography since I started taking photos about five years ago. We went into the circular part of the drain, which was like just behind where we were. And we got this photo here. The shot's good, but like, I wanted there to be a bit more particles coming towards the lens because that's what really looks cool in photography. So I told Mike to spin it towards the lens and we got this photo here, but because the exposure was too long, all the particles were just flying towards the camera and there's just too many. You can't actually see any subject of the photo. So we tried again in the other location in the first spot and we got this photo here, which I think this is way better than the first one. Like I like how you can see all the little particles that how they've bounced off the water, off the walls. It just, it looks way better when you have them coming towards the camera. It just captures your eye a bit more. So the second photo idea was take a photo upside down. But because we live in Australia, apparently we're all upside down here. So I just had to take a photo the right way around. So I got this photo here of a tram. Nothing special, but 
It's an upside down photo. Third photo was take a photo of a dog and that's just, it's not a dog, <laughs> it's, it's a duck. We were literally at this location for about 20 minutes trying to find a dog and we could not find anyone and we couldn't leave that area because I'd parked my car there and it was a no standing zone so I couldn't actually park there so I didn't want to leave it. So I just ended up taking a photo of these ducks. Dude, look at this duck's leg, like how big is this leg? This seems abnormally large. So the next thing on the wheel was ice cream and we went to an ice cream shop. Pretty much we like going there because there's cute Italian girls who serve you ice cream. So first of all, we got this photo here, which is like a nice close up. I used the 35 millimeter from Sigma, which is this lens right here. And that just gives you a really sharp, really deep, deepy, depthy. You know what I mean? A lot of bokeh. Okay. And then I got Mike to lick the ice cream because I told him he couldn't have a lick until he took the photo. And then I got this photo here, which, yeah, speaks for itself. Ladies, Mike is single. So uh, if you like the look of this, jump in his DMs. The next photo, we had to take a photo of a stranger. So I actually like getting rejected. It's fun because it just builds up that character in you. And the more times you get rejected, the less like you feel like whenever I get rejected now, I'm like, whatever, I don't care. Whereas when I first would ask people, oh, do you want a photo? And if they said no, I'd get really sort of disappointed and be like, ah, oh, damn. And then I finally went up to this guy, asked him and he said yes. So I got this photo here and I like it because it's just, it shows him exactly what he was doing. Like he wasn't posing or anything. He was just sitting there enjoying his day. And then we came along and ruined it, but we still got a photo, which was good. Once again, I shot this on the 35 millimeter, which is just such a sharp lens. It's really good for portraits. And then for the last photo, we got astrophotography. I thought it was gonna be clear sky, but it was actually cloudy. So we got this shot, but as you can see, there's a couple clouds in there. And just like anything, the more you do it, the better you're gonna get at it. So these photos were all right, but I think next time, if there was a, a clear sky, that would help a lot because that would mean we can see more stars. And also if there was no moon, because that does the same thing. If there's moonlight in the sky, that means there's more light pollution, which means that you won't actually be able to see as many stars. Anyways, that's all for today's video. If you like this video idea, let me know down below because it was so fun to shoot and really fun to get creative with photography. Often I find we're always going to really cool photography locations and we're relying on the location to look good in order to get a good photo, but being creative with it really forces you to get in that zone and just think outside the box with different ideas. So if you liked it, let me know, leave a like, help me out by hitting subscribe. As always, stay inspired, keep creating, and I will see you in the next one.